<laughs> Thanks for agreeing to see me after class, Professor. Hmm. Happy to help. Now, you mentioned having some trouble with untransfiguration. Uh... Yeah, I was able to transfigure this into a cauldron just fine. Mm -hmm. But I'm having trouble turning it back. Would you mind demonstrating the Reparifage spell again for me? I think my wand movement is a little off, and I could use an uh -huh. example to compare to. I would be happy to help. <gasps> Wait. Uh -huh. I, I mean, I just remembered that I have a question I've been dying to ask. Ooh. What's that? Um... Um... Did you always want to be a teacher? Mm -mm. No. Believe it or not, I originally wanted to play Quidditch. Alas, an injury on the pitch forced me into early retirement. Hmm. So after Hogwarts, I joined the Ministry in the Department of Magical Law Enforcement instead, albeit oh. for only a short time. Right out of school? That's quite impressive. Though I can't say I'm, I'm surprised. Hmm. If you don't mind me asking though, why'd you leave? Ah, I wasn't happy. Mostly I missed my family back in Scotland. I was good at the job and was even offered a promotion, but I didn't feel fulfilled. So I left and returned home. Ah, you must think it foolish that I gave up such a promising career. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think you were brave. You could have stayed and toughed it out, hoping things would get better eventually. But you didn't. You wanted more for yourself than that. Mm -hmm. It couldn't have been easy taking such a risk. Hmm. It wasn't. I doubted whether I was making the right decision countless times. Ah. But I ultimately listened to my heart. If I hadn't, I never would have discovered my love of teaching. And I wouldn't be here, wondering why you suddenly don't want me to untransfigure this cauldron. Um. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just that, um... Aww. I've been thinking a lot lately about what I want to do after Hogwarts, and was curious about what direction you took. <sighs> anyway, you can go ahead and demonstrate Reparifage now. I'm ready. Can't graduate if I fail Transfiguration, now can I? Very well. Reparifage! <gasps> What's this? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. Surprise! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Professor, Professor McGonagall. McGonagall! Oh! So this is what all the stalling was about. How did you know it's my birthday? Oh. We overheard the house elves talking about it. Namely, how you didn't want them to make a fuss. <laughs> so you decided to disregard my wishes and plan something anyway? <laughs> well, it seemed a shame to do nothing to celebrate. So we all pitched in and baked this cake for you. We didn't mean to offend. Uh. Yeah, you do so much for us and the school. We just wanted to show you how much we appreciate you. <laughs> that, and we wanted an excuse to have some cake. Thank you, everyone. Today seemed like the perfect day to quietly slip away, but you've convinced me to stay. Oh. Slip away? You mean, like a cat? With your yeah. transfiguration prowess, I'm sure you can slip away from most occasions unnoticed. But today, we would really love for you to stay. Oh. Yes, have cake with us, please, Professor. Uh -huh. You remind me of Mr. Potter and his friends at your age. They too filled these halls with laughter, loyalty and courage. Mm -hmm. Hogwarts saw its darkest days then, and not a day went by when I didn't wonder if I'd be forced to leave this place. But no matter what dangers it faced, Hogwarts has always been a beacon of hope, and that hope has always come from its students. Mm. Mr. Potter, for instance, become an Auror, just as he wished. And I hope to see each of you realize your own dreams in time. As for mine, they're right here, within ah. these walls. I'm proud to be part of such a grand and prestigious wizarding school, where I've achieved so much, including some rather wild, remarkable things. Like what? Ah! Like casting a powerful spell I had long wished to try, but never had the occasion until the Battle of Hogwarts. What a moment <laughs> that was! It was Pier Totem Locomotor, wasn't it? A very advanced transfiguration spell. <laughs> well done, Miss Turner. And speaking of transfiguration, 
I believe some of you still owe me the assignment where you transfigure a cake. One about the size of this cake here, into a niffler. <laughs> but we made this cake for your birthday, Professor. Surely you want to keep it as it is? <laughs> yes, let's enjoy the cake first, and leave the assignments for later. <laughs> Which, of course, I've heard of and completed. I'm sure you have, Daniel. <laughs> well, I suppose I can give you until next Wednesday. You can worry about the assignments later, after we share this cake. Mm -hmm. Won't you have a slice too, Professor? We wouldn't want to start without you. Hmm. Save me a slice for later. Watching you all here together brings back memories of old friends, some I haven't seen in many years. Perhaps I'll take a walk and think of them for a while. Enjoy your walk, Professor. We will be here when you return. We will always miss you, Miss Maggie Smith. You will always remain in our hearts, our professor and dear granny. Whenever you are, please be happy and know that you are in our thoughts. Farewell. <laughs>